Hi friends, I am Rangarajesh Kumar. I am the author of these two blogs. Uh, you can find me in the YouTube channel. You can get more uh, tutorials on jQuery, ASP, .NET and more uh, uh, languages. And come to this tutorial, I am going to explain how you are going to use input uh, button and submit in this uh, uh, in the uh, in the jQuery. Okay, I am going to start the program now. This is my body tag. In the body tag, I am going to write the form element input type is equal to button, okay, and the value is equal to uh, first one, okay, and then I am going to close this, okay. Next, I am going to write one more button, control V and control V and this is the second button and this will be the third button okay and you can write how many you want this will be the fourth button okay what i'm doing is uh, just uh, i'm going to see the output how it is uh, behaving i'm getting first second third and fourth okay uh, now i'm closing this window I'm going to uh, do the action like whenever I'm going to click on uh, any button, I will get the alert as uh, uh, hello. Okay, uh, for this, uh, I need to write the jQuery program script. Okay, script ending tag. Now I'm going to write the event for any kind of button click in the form. Uh, you have to write this. Uh, uh, event dollar uh, dollar colon button and then you need to make the click event and you have to write the function anonymous function okay and then you have to write alert alert of okay oh fine uh, now we can able to run this program let's see how it behaves just go to run launch in chrome click on anyone it did not get any action uh, let's see uh, is there any issue over here uh, input type is equal to button and uh, you haven't closed this uh, alert message properly you have to close this okay control s just launch in chrome click on any button you will get this uh, pop up okay just click on ok and click on fourth button also you, you will get the same message because jquery will internally will take all the button values if you want you can able to check by doing the by doing uh, debugging uh, let's see how this debugging will work okay uh, press f12 now what you can do is you got the output now you have to go to this one this example okay just put a debugger point over here we have seen how to debug this jquery in the jquery code in the chrome in the in my previous tutorial just to go through those uh, tutorial and what i am doing is just i am going to uh, remove all this control watches and a previous watch i have used for uh, training i am going to uh, see what what are the values i will get over here just add watch expression just click on this you will get four um, four arrays values uh, like 0 to 1 first one is input this input will be the uh, uh, input value will be the button okay you can see all this stuff over here this will be input node okay this is the button and value will be the first everything you can able to see over here okay uh, like this you can able to do debugging and if you are going to click on any button this event will be get fired and you have to press f10 you will get the pop-up it will go to the next line and press f5 
uh, it will uh, uh, run the complete program and I am going to close this so uh, we have learned how to debug this in the previous tutorial uh, let's start with the uh, submit button now uh, basically submit is nothing but uh, uh, whenever you are going to do sub form submission this button will fire automatically okay I can see this fourth button will be the submit button what I can do is uh, whenever I am going to put the submit button okay I need to get the alert of this one no now what is the output we can expect we can expect out output as when we are going to press fourth button we will get the alert message let's see how it works launch in chrome press in second button you don't get any alert now you will get the alert if you press in fourth button you will get the alert so you can easily understand that this is for submission a submit button we will have different syntax and normal button we will be having different syntax so you have to write colon and then submit okay uh, whenever we need to change the attribute values of this uh, uh, buttons now uh, whenever I am going to click on this submit button I want to change the all button values all button value will be the uh, previously first name will be the first second third will be there I want to make it as just click me uh, for this what I have to do is uh, uh, just close this and uh, dollar we need to find out all buttons using this uh, colon button okay after that you have to write attribute okay attribute of attribute of value value will be the button name okay and uh, uh, value based on this value you can catch that uh, button name uh, you have to write this button name change value okay just you have to close this run this program we will see the output whenever we are going to click on the submit button uh, all other button values need to be changed okay I'm going to click on this fourth button all button values got changed over here change value change value change value okay now what I'm doing is I don't want to uh, do all the buttons just I wanted to uh, check that whenever I wanted to click on um, which button that button need to change the value means uh, if I'm going to click on this uh, button that button value only need to be changed other button value will be the same for this what I have to do is just uh, you have to uh, go to program uh, in the uh, I am changing this submit button to normal thing button okay and after that uh, you have to write here also just button okay instead of button over here in this button uh, you don't need to you have to select the this means that particular object you never you are going to click on first button that first button will get hit here and that element will be read over here let's see how it behaves uh, I'm going to click on uh, run now see if you are going to click on second this value only change and if you are going to click on third button that value only change and if you are going to click on fourth button that value will be changed like this you can able to do multiple kind of operations using this kind of attributes uh, even this attribute value we will uh, see in deeper uh, in the future chapters now at present uh, we have enjoyed how to use button and how to use submit buttons uh, uh, using this tutorial uh, I will catch you in the next video uh, before that please subscribe this channel and uh, uh, please like share and give your valuable comments on this tutorial have a great day my friends